Well, today is National Daiquiri Day, so we decided to celebrate. Brian Mitchell yeah. has the ingredients ready to make a few favorite variations of the drink. Yep. Um, so daiquiris, you know, it's going to be, as you said, multiple times really hot this weekend. So what better drink to have than a nice, cold, refreshing daiquiri? Especially from Brian. He's the beverage director for the Max Restaurant Group. Yeah. So welcome to the show. And so Thank I you. think when I think daiquiri, I think frozen. Yeah. That's but a, that's not necessarily the real way you make a daiquiri. Well, it, it, it is. Um, I think one of the things that, and I come across that a lot, a lot of people automatically go to frozen daiquiris as code of the norm. But the original daiquiri, which was created really kind of in the 1890s um, in Cuba, uh, they didn't have blenders oh. at that point. So they would have been really stirring them or mixing them with ice, shaved ice. Um, so definitely a cold drink, but oh, not, not necessarily awesome. a frozen drink. Well, let's get to it. Yeah. So Because I'm thirsty. So that standard daiquiri that I like to make is just simple three ingredients, rum, sugar, and uh, a little bit of lime juice. Okay. And the proportions are two ounces, one ounce, half an ounce. That's kind of the formula that I like. Rum, so, sugar, lime juice. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, two ounces of rum, one ounce of lime juice, sorry, and then half an ounce of sugar. And you can kind of mix that depending on whether you like it a little sweeter or a little tartar. Okay. So I've kind of got some lime juice. Fresh pressed lime juice is, is always best. I love that lime press. Yeah. This is this is a great thing to have in the kitchen. Oh, I use it all the time. I have one, actually. Awesome. And I don't yeah, so know how I ever squeeze things before I had that. Right. Uh, and then simple syrup. So that's where the sugar comes in. Okay. Um, one to one ratio. I like to use cane sugar because it's got a little bit more flavor. You can see that it's brown. It's not clear like like uh, white sugar. You can sugar. make your own simple, simple syrup and keep it in a bottle the way you did? You can keep this in the fridge. Um, you know, one to one ratio. So a cup of sugar, cup of water, put it in a little saucepan, heat it up just enough to make it go clear, and then you can put it in a glass bottle like this, keep it that's in the fridge for syrup. a week or two. Okay. Yep, okay. that's it. Really simple. So a little bit in there. Um, I've got a nice kind of uh, white rum, which is a, which is a great style. Um, this one is actually a blend of rums from Jamaica, Trinidad, and Barbados. I'm, I'm gonna double this recipe up. This one I'm going in twice. Perfect. And just double it up. Just double it up, there we go. And then I've got some ice in here. I'm gonna shake this. Shake your drink, you just can't shake your drink. Shake your drink, you just can't shake your drink. Make this come apart, sometimes it's not easy. <laughs> now this is gonna be obviously a super hot weekend, so it frozen is. daiquiris are really cold drinks. Is that why they made this um, drink in Cuba? Was it all for, to beat the heat type thing? Yeah, or? well Cuba's in the Caribbean. Yeah. Um, the gentleman who's kind of credited with, with creating it, his name is uh, Jennings Cox, and we, he was... Uh, right, we got we only have two minutes, and I wanna make sure we get to get all the frozen ones? Drinks. Okay, yeah. so we're gonna put a little bit of daiquiri in here. Cuba is definitely hot. These are refreshing drinks, nice and cool and clean. One for you. Oh, that is beautiful. One for you. Okay. So, yep. A little taste. So, nice and clean. So, enjoy that. So, that's the basic classic daiquiri. It is just simple and uh, that's really very good. Really good. refreshing, Take tart. Um, the other variation that I like to do, you flash forward to the uh, 1970s, everything kind of goes frozen. Uh, frozen daiquiris become kind of ubiquitous. They're all over the place. So what do you have in there and what's the liquid? So the liquid that's in here is the same base that I just started with that you're having now. Okay. And I'm tweaking it. I put a little banana and I got some sort of cheater here. It's a little mango passion fruit sorbet. Oh, how wonderful so is we're that? So we're gonna blend that up. Okay. It's so much better than the daiquiri mixes that are all filled with fake stuff. Yeah, you don't stuff. want all the sweet stuff. Um, yeah. This is nice and fresh. All right, blend it up so it's nice and smooth. I'd probably give it a few more whirls than that. Okay. But oh, I love we'll it get like this, this out for you. I love it when my drink is served with a spoon. There you go. And it's basically like you're taking the base recipe and turning it into a smoothie. Oop. Get a little messy here. Doop. There you go. There you go. Garnish it up. Give that a try. It's a little thick, but it's And the garnish is everything. Look where you did this. You did a lime, a lemon, yep. a cherry, and a, a little, banana. Isn't yeah. that cute? Yeah, okay. So then the, uh, the way I like to make daiquiris, I like to kind of combine that. I like mm -hmm. to make a nice fresh daiquiri, but I like to use an agricole rum, which has really got a good. lot of flavor. Um, this is using, you know, rum is made from cane. Mm -hmm. So this is actually uh, fresh pressed cane juice that's fermented, or it's uh, made into a cane wine and then fermented and distilled. And it has so much flavor, it's great. So I do a little blend of cane. Agricole rum and a little uh, aged rums. If you look at the uh, tiki recipes and the, the drinks from um, back in the 50s and 60s where daiquiris were really popular, they often would blend different rums from different places, different ages. So I've got the lime juice in here, I've got the simple syrup, I just put the, the two rums in here and you can smell the fresh cane. Quick there you go. 